Welcome back, Rams. I'm Colin Sanders, and if you want to know about everything that's awesome in Fort Collins, then you've come to the right place. Last week, CSU's Pride and Resource Center just had their 20th annual Queer BQ. The Queer BQ is the PRC's traditional event to outreach to CSU students who are anywhere in within the LGBT spectrum to come and have a place to connect to other students who are in the same rainbow. The event had the largest number of students they've ever had, which was a good opportunity for first-year students who may have never had access to a community like this before. It was filled with joy and laughter, with, with, ugh, which was a huge step forward in this world's difficult political and social climate. If you missed the Queer BQ, do not worry because you can always find the PRC inside the Lori Student Center located in room 232. Do you have a small dog, preferably a corgi, or in fact any dog, or just simply a dog lover? Then the Tour de Corgi is the event you're going to want to check out. This upcoming Saturday at 10 a.m., the Tour de Corgi will be taking place at the Civic Center Park, and around noon, a parade of hundreds of corgis will take place around Old Town Fort Collins. Corgi owners can register for a costume contest where the judges will rate them on a scale of cuteness. The contest will also have different other categories for your corgis to be ranked in, such as cutest couple, baddest to the bone, and like human, like corgi. You know for sure I'll be there with my cousin's corgi, Wes, in a fun dinosaur costume, and I'm sure we'll win the cutest couple. Don't forget to tune in next week as I do a closer story on this event. Congratulations to the UCA for reaching 10 years, and in celebration, CSU showcased its wonders. This past Sunday, the UCA celebrates its 10-year anniversary by showcasing a variety of different elements of performing arts. It was an open house that uh, basically uh, included something happening in almost every venue in the facility. All the dance uh, facilities were up and operating, including the University Dance Theater. We had a tech rehearsal for the uh, Laramie Project, um, our upcoming production in the University Theater and uh, music therapy spaces, design technology spaces and theater. Um, you name it, it was uh, up, up and running on Sunday. Uh, and it gave the um, patrons uh, an idea of what happens every day in the UCA. The anniversary event gave students a chance to show their skills and what it really means to work inside the UCA. Within the dance department, it's basically a big family. Like, because dance, it requires a lot of time. One of the reasons why we call it our second home is because it basically is. We have a mini fridge with all our food in it. So when it comes to like our lunchtime, we all eat together, we chill out. And then when it's time for class, we just dance. And then we'll go after the school's over to do rehearsals nonstop. Clearly, the UCA is a fun and cooperative place for students to learn and grow with many years to come. I might just think of a change in major. Smoking weed may be bad for you, but one simply cannot deny the beautiful artwork that goes into making the pipes, bongs, and other smoking accessories. At Kind Creations, the personalized glass blowing company located on South College likes to blur the line between weed accessory and beautiful pieces of art. The store is lined ceiling to floor with all sorts of different and crazy pieces of art ranging from shiny gold pipes to sparkly bongs. CSU students find themselves wandering into the store to get that one-of-a-kind smoking masterpiece, which is what makes them so much better than just buying off of Amazon Prime or just a run-of-the-mill gas station. Their motto is quality over quantity, and that is what I call a quality joint. Entertainment update. The new Brockhampton album just came out on September 21st, and it is creating a storm across CSU's student body. Brockhampton has always been popular on CSU, but their new album using a div diverse musical collective makes them a force to be reckoned with. Their new album is called Iridescence, and it is their fourth album the group has made. And within their songs, the group uses autotune, but instead of using it to make them sound better, they are using it as an artistic statement. Proving their creative styles through autotune can be more than just voice enhancing and modifying. Now, I wonder if the group is holding auditions because they could seriously use my unique sense of singing. Thanks for tuning in tonight, Rams, and have a wonderful weekend.